Happy yeah. Sunday, everyone. Woo. We are obviously skiing. We made it on holiday. So excited. Woo. Weather is incredible. It is so hot. So, so hot. And the snow is in good condition for it's it being so hot. Brilliant. And the end of the season. We should say where we are. We are currently in Les Arcs, but we're staying in montchevin le Coche, yes. which is in Le, le Plan it's area. A great little village. Really good for kids skiing. So we're with a company called Family Ski, which is um, a company that caters especially for little kiddies. And families, yeah. So yeah. we'll have to insert some shots of our chalet and... There's a hot tub. The <gasps> crash and the hot been amazing. tub. amazing. We are already having the best, best time. Um, we're actually out skiing this morning Hannah is kindly taking care of little Rupert to give us just a few hours. Exactly, just the two yeah. Of us. We don't it often get amazing. time just the two of us together, so it's been really nice to have a morning skiing. Yeah. So you can see behind us, um, there is another lift that we can get to. I think it's the tallest part around here, but the queue's really long, so we're actually going to skip that. We just want to get the skiing in because exactly. we don't have that long, do we? Well, we are actually a couple of days into the holiday, we are. so um, while we get a few runs under our belts, go for a hot chocolate. Go for a hot chocolate. We are going to show you the first couple of days of the holiday and Rupert's first flight. Yeah, a little bit of a montage the, of how we got here. Yeah, it, it was, was. Uh, chaotic, but it was fun. We made it! Woohoo! Look at all this luggage. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, you got little panda. So we've just arrived at Gatwick Airport and we're going to go check in with Swiss Air. We're flying to Geneva and then I think it's like a two and a half hour journey on the bus. It's really not easy to film when you've got a trolley. Jamie. <laughs> Yeah, it's all copied on my way there. Jamie just dropped the boarding passes. Ugh. Do you need a coffee? Let's get through. Are you sure? My coffee. <laughs> we are currently changing Rupert's nappy. We've just got through security, so we are at the departure gate side. Uh, luckily, we did pay a little bit extra and went business class because the queue was absolutely huge. So we skipped all of the queue, we've just come through. Even security, they had a, what was it? A, a family, family and assisted straight through that as well. So even though it's all been easy, we have got about an hour till the flight, so we haven't got loads of time. We're gonna go try and find the lounge to go and have some breakfast. That was very rushed, but lovely breakfast nonetheless. Now we are heading to the gate. <laughs> First ever flight. <gasps> We're going in there, boys. Eh? we're back on a chairlift together. I know. I think we've missed four years of skiing. Three or four years. Pandemic. We didn't go the year we got married. No. 2018. Then we had been. Rupert. So That's I think it's been a while. Four years ago. And I think the last time we went, there's a picture of us. I think I'm jumping on your back. We got um, the same we'll clothes have to find on. It. We've got exactly the same clothes on. So they've lasted us a while. <laughs> <laughs> the weather here has been phenomenal. We've been worrying about how to keep him cool, not hot. No, how to keep him warm. No, how to keep him cool. Oh yeah, sorry. And not too hot. <laughs> it's the other way around, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, the weather's been fantastic. It is coming towards the end of the season. So we're here, end of March, and um, the snow's actually been really good. Higher up, it's fine. At lower down, it is a bit patchy. It's getting a bit icy. We did overhear that they might close the season slightly early this year. So I think possibly, we've, I think we're here, quite possibly, this could be the last, the last good week. And it's not too cold. No. No, you're getting a tan already. <laughs> so we are very grateful to Hannah and Michael because they've got Rupert for the morning. We are going to spend a couple of hours skiing, maybe get a hot chocolate. We are, yeah. Oh, maybe get a hot chocolate. Today we're actually going to go to Les Arc. Oh, are we? Yeah. We are. We're you going right to the top. Route. Hannah and Michael said there's an amazing view right at the top, so we're going to go straight up there. Ready? You at the lift? Yep. I think I'm gonna come out most morning and then we'll take it in turns to look after Rue. Wait, which way are we going? Is that? Oh, I'm already, already lost. Um, and I think I've got the better end of the deal going in the morning and the afternoon because because the runs 
are so much better because it's so hot they get a little bit slushy in the afternoon in the morning they're perfect I need to keep watching where I'm going <laughs> so we are on Mont Blanc at the moment a run not the mountains which is a nice blue run Whee! My sister's a very good skier. We're obviously here with my sister and brother-in-law. They're both really good. And our little niece who is in ski school, she's having lessons for the first time. She's doing a great job. Oh, icy, ice, ice, ice. I'm not a big fan of skiing on ice. Back in the sun, this is what we like. Made it. I nearly fell on some ice. Oh, did you? So we are going to take the Barunas Express. Three minutes until departure. It's an absolutely massive um, cable car that takes you across the valley to the other side. I'll try and show you as we think are going right to the. I think it's right to the top up there somewhere. Woo! It's so quiet. So quiet. I wonder if there's anyone watching who hasn't been skiing or doesn't know how skiing works. <gasps> Maybe. That'd be interesting. Maybe there's people who've never seen snow before. As in, they haven't seen it in real life? Yeah. Well, snow is cold. <laughs> yeah, we've just um, hopped across to Les Arc side. I Les can't believe we're on holiday. I know, it is so nice to be out. I've forgotten how annoying it is to ski with a border. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but you obviously have to wait at every lift for Jamie to strap his feet in. Skiers always keep their skis on. Borders, we take one foot out so you can actually get onto the, ski the chairlift. Makes it so much more comfy, but it does mean that it's not at the bottom you don't have to wait, it's at the top. Because when we get off we have to then strap off it back in. It's okay, it gives me like 30 seconds to have bites of chocolate. That's true, yeah. At the top of each Oh, lift. I forgot to put my Mars bar back in. Oh, what a shame. So normally, um, when we come skiing, all the trees are covered in snow. So you can tell there's a little less snow than normal. I can't wait for next year. So the holiday's already booked for next year. And um, Rupert's going to be one and a half. So I'm hoping that he's going to be walking by then and strong enough to be on his on his legs. Yeah, if if he is, we're going to buy him a mini snowboard. They, yeah. I, can't, I think they're from Burton, like mini snowboards. Uh, and then you can either have a little bar that they hold onto. It's almost like a Zimmer frame. It handle. is, yeah, on a snowboard. And then also it has a little um, string that you can pull them along. Yeah. Because he's too young still for a ski school. Yes, yeah, so we'll have to teach him. Is he going to be a skier year? or a boarder? I don't know. I think maybe start him off on a little board next year. I think, year. yeah, because otherwise the skis are going to go all over the place. But yeah, he's not going to be able to control. Evelyn's been having a few lessons. Um, She's doing so well. Yeah. We try and ski past her lesson every morning just so yeah. we can catch like a little glimpse of, of how she's doing. But she's doing really well. We're actually sharing a room with Rupert <laughs> this oh <my> week. <laughs> and we've forgotten how noisy he is. <laughs> These first few nights have just been, he just makes like, <laughs> and then I'll get that's it. But for us, <laughs> We're straight away awake and we're like, oh no, please, let's not make this last an hour. But the beds are made from wood, so obviously it's a chalet, everything's very wooden. Every time Jamie tries to sneak into bed, because he's so heavy, it just creaks and creaks and creaks. There's so much creaking going on. And last on. night, it was so noisy, you getting in, he actually He cried. woke up. He, he woke he, up. And then I stopped, literally with a leg in the air, and I didn't want to move. <laughs> we you all probably froze. couldn't see we me. We literally but, froze. Because it was pitch black, I was just froze on the bed, and I was like, okay, can't move, can't move, can't move, can't move. <laughs> And then luckily he, he, back he didn't make any more noises, so got in bed. But also, <laughs> the beds are a bit short. I can't even, I can't even lie in bed straight. Your legs are poking. My up. head is right on the top, and my ankles are on the wood at the end. <laughs> so um, I've been kind of lying diagonally. But yes. Anyway, so we it's said been working. if we um, go on another holiday, summer holiday, winter holiday, whatever it is. Oh, someone's lost their ski down there. Oh no. Uh, we're definitely going to have to book two rooms. He needs his own room. Mm. But saying that, he slept from seven till six last night with a little feed at one. Sometimes babies can get a little bit ill from the altitude. Oh yeah, that's something to note actually yeah. for parents, parents if you are thinking skiing. of bringing them skiing. We are a couple of days into the holiday and Rupert yesterday had a little bit of an upset tummy, but then he's absolutely fine today. So I think it was like a 24 hour thing, just yeah. sort of acclimatizing. We did actually ask about walking routes around the area. And this is another thing which I didn't know about. Uh, there's an area where we could get a lift up and that's up to 1800 and there's a nice restaurant. But the lady said to walk it 
because if you go in a gondola or a chairlift or whatever, then they, the altitude gain is too quick for a baby. Yeah. Or it can be, and it can again make them upset. But she just said, watch out. So that's another tip for you parents out there with young kids. Also, I'm so jealous of Rupert's ski wardrobe. It's adorable. Oh, he's got so um, many nice stuff. I asked everyone on Instagram a few months back like where I should get things from. And I actually bought pretty much everything from Palan O Pirate. I think yeah. I'm saying it right. Um, so many so, kids out here are actually wearing it. I've never heard of oh, it. It's everywhere. It's so, so good. We were extremely lucky as well. After we had ordered stuff. We bought loads of stuff. They also did gift us a few bits. So uh, we'll have to show you some of his wardrobe because it's super cute. It is really cute. Do a little fashion show. I think we're about to get off the chairlift. Both so are very trendy. We'll do another little ski montage and uh, we will see you. For a hot chockey? For a hot chockey. Experts only. You go for it? Yeah, come on. <laughs> oh no, not for me. What a fantastic morning so Yay. far! We don't get many moments, just the two of us. No. We miss Rue though. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice yeah, to have a break. Yeah, we do. Home sweet home. Just in time for nap time. Ski in, ski out. Where's the little man? Off we go! As you can see, it's t-shirt weather. Whee! <laughs> Just heading to higher ground. Okay, I think that's high enough. <laughs> is that fun? Ah. Oh. <laughs> this is perfect. This is so good. Rupert's currently napping, so we thought we would finish our little day Morning video. Bob, yeah. In the jacuzzi. Cheers. We haven't put the bubbles on because it'll be really noisy. Quite nice to just sit and chat. Oh. oh, this is absolute heaven. We can see people skiing past, watching them come down the mountain. Like we're in the middle of the slopes. And look at that view behind yeah, us. Yeah, we had a fantastic morning skiing. Came back for some lunch, put Rupert down for a little nap, and we've just come in the hot tub. It's the staff um, staff's night off tonight. So we are heading out for some, pit, well I'm going to say, pit, no. I think they've got everything. Oh. I think they've got everything there. We're heading out to a restaurant. I've really then... wanted raclette. Oh yeah, you I want I keep talking about it. We have cheese and it like melts and then you scrape it off. So we're um, heading out tonight and there's an amazing babysitting service that comes with the chalet. So kiddies are looked after. Uh, from 7 till was 11. It 11. But yeah. we'll be home by <laughs> 9. 9. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Successful day skiing. Cheers. Cheers. It's our last day today. It's a sad day. We gave it a go. Maybe he needs to be a little bit older. <laughs> this is only because you're on holiday.